Hey everyone, this is Robert from Nerd Freedom, and I'm going to do my EDC video, which I've never done before. I was waiting for a couple of items to get in that I ordered at the end of the Christmas rush. They come in, I've incorporated them, and now I can show them to you. So first off, this is uh, pretty typical of what I wear. It's usually a button-down shirt with a pattern, uh, usually short sleeves because I don't like long sleeves even during the winter. And this is my typical get-up during the day. So. We're going to go through each item, uh, we're going to explain what I use it for and why I picked it, and uh, then I'll respond to any comments that you guys have. Thanks! Alright, I'm going to lay these out in a sort of order. Uh, mostly the thing, I'm going to put the things that are most important slash get used the most. The first is your cell phone. I keep it in my back left pocket usually. And if you don't know why a cell phone is part of an EDC and you can't figure it out, I honestly don't know what to tell you. So, we got a cell phone. Um, this is actually a new addition, how this works. Uh, this is a key smart, which has got my house key and uh, my grandmother's house's key, uh, my car key, and my gun safe key on it. The key smart also came with, or I also ordered it with two other things. I've got, let's see here, got a bottle opener here. And I've got a USB drive, eight gigabytes right there. I was using a carbon a carbon air. I, I don't like it as much. This fits in my pocket better. If someone has a solution to make these stupid car key fobs better, I would love to hear it. Um, then got my wallet. Uh, it's just a fossil trifold. I've got a whole bunch of stuff in it, honestly, probably more than I need to have in it. But I've got my driver's license. I have two concealed carry permits in there because I'm on the Washington Oregon border and I transit between them all the time. Student ID, VA card, debit cards, check cards, just all this normal stuff you have in a wallet. If you have a gun and you conceal carry, always, always, always make sure your concealed carry permits are in your wallet. Secondly, flashlight. I love this flashlight. Uh, I've had it for a while. You can see that it is beat up. Uh, it's in the pocket every day, and it is a Phoenix PD-22. I can't remember the stats on it. It came with a pocket clip. It kept getting knocked off in the pocket clip. This watch is actually, or this watch, <laughs> this flashlight has actually gone through the wash five, 10, 15 times, and it still functions perfectly. It's got an intensity adjustment. Uh, no strobe adjustment, but just a standard on off trigger here in the back. It's also got lanyard holes on either side in the back. Uh, this thing has been absolutely reliable. I think I paid 45 bucks for it on Amazon. 100% reliable, fantastic. Uh, next, we have a pocket knife. Don't go anywhere without a pocket knife. I use, personally, I use my flashlight at least as much as I use my pocket knife. Uh, this is uh, a Benchmade. I believe this is a 940. I am actually really in love with this knife. It's got some blue spacers on the back, which are fantastic. Combo blade, thumb tab open, pocket clip, uh, brushed aluminum handle. Um, the handle's actually pretty decent, and the knife is a good size. It seems small and thin, but I found it up to the task of just about everything I could possibly need it for. Uh, another addition that I have made is a tactical pen. That doesn't look like any tactical pen you've seen, and that's the point. This is from uh, Tough Rider. This is their, their click version. It's got uh, grippy parts here and grippy parts up here along the top. It's got a nice pocket clip. And this is, I believe this is their aluminum, not their titanium version, and it cost me about $100. Even if you're not using a, a pen as a compliance tool, you should have a pen on you anyway. And even if you don't have a piece of paper, you should have a pen because you can write on your skin just fine if you needed to write something down. And you always write on the back of your hand, not the palm of your hand. A uh, trick I learned from the Coast Guard, your palms get wet, your palms get sweaty, your palms rub against things all the time. If you need to write down names, dates, a license plate number, description of a person, anything, you don't have a piece of paper, back of your hand, your arm works just fine. And then, 
firearm. I cleared this weapon right before the video, so there you go. So firearm, obviously your firearm comes with a magazine and your plus one, and I also carry the spare in my thigh cargo pocket. If I don't have a thigh cargo pocket, I put it in uh, my back left pocket. I need to get a solution for carrying this better. Probably it's going to be a Kydex on the waist thing. Um, this particular firearm is a SIG P320 uh, C, the concealed frame. Uh, I was carrying a PPQ in 44 or in 40, 44. Uh, and this is a 9mm. This is a fantastic gun, and I'll be doing a review of this gun later on. But that's my EDC gun for right now. Every EDC gun needs a holster. And so we'll show you that. And so for a holster, we have got a Blade Tech Nano inside the waistband Kydex halter, holster with belt loops. Uh, this gun fits perfectly in here. Uh, I love this holster. Uh, I did a review on this holster a comparison, and it's a fantastic holster uh, on par with anything else you get for your money. Oh, regarding the price on the SIG P320, uh, it's comparable to a Glock in price. So if you don't want a Glock, if you want something different, the P320 is an excellent choice for you. If you're carrying a gun, you need a holster, and you also need a belt. Uh, this is the belt that I started wearing recently. Prior to this, I was wearing exclusively uh, standard leather gun belts. Uh, and I will explain why I went over this for a couple reasons. I have an odd shaped waist. Uh, my weight fluctuates quite a lot. Let's move this stuff out of the way. Um, my, my weight fluctuates a lot and belt loops, even on $100 double stitched thick leather belt, uh, they, get, they, they get stretched, it gets worn, and since I don't wear my shirt tucked in hardly ever, I decided to go with the Velcro tactical slash instructor's belt. Uh, this one is Uncle Mike's. Uh, this one, I think it cost me like 25 bucks in black in the super extra fat boy size. Um, its thickness and durability is strong. You, you, you can bend it if you try. It's easily just as rigid as, as most gun belts. Um, the elastic on it means that you can adjust it for the perfect fit for you, which I find incredibly useful. And also uh, the belt loop or, or the hook mechanism isn't as large as it is for the combined on regular belts. Uh, one of the reasons I switched that is because I started carrying a second fixed blade knife uh, center midline. Now I didn't realize something uh, but belt loops play an important part, and the sides of your belt play an important part in where you carry your knife. I'm right-handed, so I carry my knife like this on the left-hand side, and I like to carry it as close to in front as possible. Hooks in like this, right? But traditionally, a belt loop goes across the other way, so now it's too thick to get in here or I start having other problems with the belt buckle. With this type of belt, I don't encounter that, which is part of the reason why I switched. Um, and you can slide this on and off while you're wearing it. It's probably easier for most people because they don't have a spare tire like I do. Uh, this is a Spyderco Street Beat, and this is their Kydex holster that came with it, and these are some G-Code clips that came with it. Uh, G-Code is not Tech Lock. Tech Lock is not G-Code don't think that just because the Kydex fitting on a holster works for one, it's going to work for the other. Uh, this street beat is nice. It's got a nice deep finger groove there. Uh, the choil is really deep. I'm not pushing my, my index finger up against the blade. The jimping along the back for your thumb is fantastic. I think this knife come, coming in this configuration off of Amazon was 150 uh, full tang, my cutter grips, lanyard hole, good little knife, razor sharp, hair cutting sharp when I got it. Um, the purpose of this knife is just a straight self defense knife, just for whatever new reason, I cannot access my gun for normal pocket knife activities. So that's what the, the bench is for. Um, 
So the, all these items go on my person as soon as I get up. The gun gets locked in the nighttime in, in the bedside safe. All the other stuff gets put on the nightstand. All this stuff goes on my person as soon as I get up. And these are the things that I find are the most useful in my day-to-day -day life. And when we, you saw at the beginning of the video, uh, when I was standing there in my, my shirt and my pants, I had all these items on my person at that time, most of them in my pockets or on my waist. So uh, that's my EDC for 2016. If you have any questions, uh, please ask below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. If you have suggestions or thoughts, I'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching.